The joys of lake life usually involve several elements. If you can't enjoy the yard and, you know, having kids jump off the dock and swim, it's, I don't know, it's disappointing it's this year. It's been a bad year, yeah. It's been a bad year, yeah. Kathy Peterson and her brother-in-law, Darren Freetley, both own homes on Lake Pacagama. But lately, with the lake so low, the algae so rampant. It doesn't feel like lakefront property. <laughs> And just overnight, things started to resemble something like a terrible fish market. This is what we woke up to this morning. We were looking out the window and we were trying to figure out what's all over the lake. It it's fish. fish. Dead ones, to be clear. An overnight fish kill brought all sorts of species to the surface, now gracing the shorelines of many homes. Lake Pacagama residents aren't the only ones waking up to this fishy news. DNR officials did too, and they're out there trying to investigate. Primarily, we think it's due to environmental conditions. The hot summer we've been having, hotter than normal, that'll heat water temperatures, that can stress fish and could cause early algae blooms. Those also have a way of depleting oxygen in the water. We had kind of stagnant conditions for a couple days and not much sunlight due to the haze and the smoke in the air. We figure maybe one of these factors or a combination of them might be leading up to depleted oxygen. Is it normal that it just happens overnight like that? Actually, the way plants photosynthesize, they go through cycles where they are actually giving off the oxygen to the water column during the day when they're breathing as such. And then overnight, they stop giving off the oxygen. Other respiration takes place and they're actually start to use up oxygen. If there's any decaying matter on the bottom, that'll use up oxygen too. Residents are like, we have to clean this up. What can they do? There's not really any agency that's prepared to deal with anything of that magnitude so it becomes you know a matter of individual lakeshore owners or banding together. We want to get it out as fast as possible or it's just gonna smell Stink. worse. Get trash bags and the side-by-sides down here and start raking them in and putting them in there and then we can reach out to farmers and see we do know some farmers around here Yeah. Uh, that maybe they need them or want them for their crops if not we'll just have to dispose of them. Oh geez. DNR officials told Sharon that it's going to take a few days to confirm if it's environmental or not. But they did say, given that the lake is not near any pollution prone areas, that will most likely end up being the case, that it's environmental. So the good news, if there is any here, there is no threat to the public or anything like that. All right.